Hi <coughs> everyone, welcome to another part of Squire's Ladies Refit. <laughs> Failed within like the first 10 seconds. <laughs> In this episode, you'll see us working outside on the upper deck an awful lot. The weather has been really, really good, so we've took advantage of it. We've been painting the cockpit as well, and... <clears throat> also, I've been doing the, uh, the non-slip paint on the deck. Um, and we've got some Treadmaster, so we're going to stick that down. I think we've started again. <laughs> right. Hi hey, everyone, welcome to another part of Squire Ladies Refit. In this episode, you'll see us way outside a lot because the weather's been really lovely, so we've took advantage of it. We've been painting the cockpit and the upper deck with some non-slip deck paint. Also, I'm going to fit some Treadmaster over the next couple of weeks. Um, Jen's going home today, so I'm going to drop it off at the train station in a bit, and I've got a couple more days down here before I go on a, a sailing course that I've been booked onto. Um, I want to say a big thank you to uh, our patrons who've supported us over the past couple of months. Yeah. Big thank you. Thank you. Nice one. If you'd like to become a patron, if you want to click the link below, that would be really fantastic. <laughs> one of the first jobs that I wanted to start on was strengthening and fiberglassing the bows of the boat. wasn't too happy with my work so I'm not too sure if we're going to cut it off and start again but that's one of the good things about fiberglass, dead easy to cut off and start again. Do my job when I'm on a boat on my own, tried taping the spanner and stuff like that didn't work, just ended up doing it by luck, the spanner got caught on one of the bolts, score. Fiberglass and up some old holes left by an old air vent. So I mixed my stuff, cut my fiberglass, put it on some cling film and whacked it into position. Once the fiberglass is set on the inside, pulled the cling film off and then used some fiberglass body filler to fill in the holes from the external side. Had a large hole left in the back of the cockpit off the mast tension pump. So rather than fiberglassing it up, I cut it a little bit bigger and fitted it into a locker.
There she is again, straight in with the roller. Just running some wires for when I start the electric in the next couple of weeks. Thanks for watching everybody. Like usual, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up because it's meant to help. Not too sure how, but it's meant to. In a couple of weeks time, we'll be doing a Q&A. So if you've got any questions, just leave them at the bottom of this video and we'll get back to you. Some people have asked about the um, launch date i think it's going to be sometime june sometime in june or july this year um get it in the water it's going to be far from finished but we're going to get it in the water and get it down to falmouth and um, at least I, when i finish work each day i can get down there to do some work on the boat so you might end up seeing an awful lot more videos and then um, one more question i've got for you is um it's a question i've got for you is, i went out on my friend's boat the other the other month and I, with the, the conversation of life jackets came up and I asked him when was the last time he served them. And it was, he said, about seven years ago, was when they were bought. So um, one of the jobs I do in the Navy is service life jackets. If anybody would like me to do a video of, uh, of how to do service a life jacket, give us a little thing on here. I'm not too sure if it would be a good thing or a bad thing or something people don't want to watch. But um, leave the comments below on one of them. Right, everybody, nice one for watching. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Ta -da.